For a lot of people, boating is a hobby, but for some of us, it's a lifestyle, and especially when you add speed into that equation. Adrenaline junkies are addicted to going faster and faster on the water. We love the feeling when we get up on those rails, on top of the water, as the boat skates through the water at high speeds. What's up guys, it's Life Offshore. If you like the marine world, drop a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to ask me any questions, follow me on Instagram and send me a DM at life.offshore. Today we'll be talking about the top three speed boats or performance boats 30 feet and under. All these boats are capable of speeds of over 100 miles an hour, but this list is a bit tricky since catamarans have taken over this market for the most part. And the reason behind it is because the catamaran design is proven to be a better design when it comes to speed. Now there's some drawbacks to that design, which I won't go into in this video. So a little disclaimer, I had a toss up for number three. It was either Outer Limits SV29 or Tufts Marine 28. So this is either a toss up, it can go either way um i guess it depends on what day you ask me the outer limits is going to be a lot more expensive than tufts 28 also with tufts outboard configuration it has such higher speeds than outer limits 29 i think outer limits has yet to crack 100 miles an hour with their twin 300r setup obviously outer limits 29 is going to handle rough waters better but like i said um, when it comes down to performance numbers tufts 28 is just a much better performer when it comes to the same power output so that's what swung me over in making my decision, putting them at number three over Outer Limits SV29. So at number three, we have Tough Marines 28 footer. It is the only V bottom on this list. They make them with single inboards or twin outboard configurations. The 28 can be built with Mercury's 860 horsepower inboard. It has a top speed of 137 miles an hour. And with a pair of 300 outboards, the boat ran at a top speed of 117 miles an hour, which is the fastest twin outboard in its class. Now, this boat can be built to your liking from power selection all the way to the materials used in the build process. It has an overall length of 28 feet, four inches and a beam of eight feet which is the narrowest boat on this list as well the boat with twin 300s will be under 4,000 pounds fully rigged in my opinion this boat is badass it rides all the way aired out and is not a boat for a beginner power boater you have to know what you're doing in order to drive this thing the price for this boat will be around 170 to 200,000. i mean it all depends on what you like to use um, as far as materials and power configuration At number two, we have Hellcats 30 footer. Now this boat is being built out of Miami, Florida and they're a fairly new company. The mold of this boat comes from a Spectre 30 with some modifications. Now this boat can be built to your liking, but their most popular build is with twin 400 Verados. With that configuration, the boat topped out at 124 miles an hour. In my opinion, if I were to build this boat, I'll put 300 R's on there or a pair of 300 XS's. Obviously they'd have to be used, but hey, that's just me. If I put the 300 R's, I'll lose some speed, but I prefer having 312 less pounds hanging off the transom. This Hellcat has an overall length of 30 feet and a beam of eight feet, five inches. Now, we know this boat was made legendary by Spectre, but Hellcat has made 10 of these boats in the past year, which a lot of them have been shipped overseas to the islands. This boat can be built for $165,000 with 300 R's fully rigged, ready to go, electronics, everything. But can also be bought as a bare hole with no power. If you guys want to see a complete video of this boat where we take it on a sea trial and give you a walkthrough, let me know in the comments below if this is something you guys want to see. This is my favorite boat on the list. And the only reason I have it at number two is because our next boat has a great history for making the best and top of the line performance boats. So without further ado, at number one, we have Skaters 28. This boat is about as legendary as they come when we talk about speed on the water, especially under 30 feet. It has an overall length of 28 feet and a beam of 8 feet 4 inches. Now the difference between Skaters 28 and Hellcats 30 is that the Hellcat can run in rougher waters, but the Skater is like a Porsche and the Hellcat 30 is like a Cadillac in the water. Skater is arguably the best performance boat builder in the world, if not top 3 for sure. Like all the other boats on this list, it is fully customizable. Now, the reason I have it at number one over the Hellcat, even though the Hellcat is my favorite, is because of its long lasting reputation and because of its resale value. It holds a lot of its value as there's a big following for this boat and for this manufacturer. With 300 XS's, this boat runs around 110 to 115. At those speeds, it rides on rails. It handles high speeds like nothing on the water at that size. But in my opinion, it should be propped for heavier loads and not for top speed, as most of the time when you're riding in these boats, you're not by yourself. 
you know you might have your family on board or some friends and that goes for any boat on this list i don't think they should be propped for top speed unless your goal is to just show off because acceleration will be lost getting on plane will be harder um, it just makes it more difficult to ride on a day-to-day -day scenario but that about wraps it up for this video guys if you have any other boats that you think should have been on this list let me know in the comments below and out of these three boats which is your cup of tea which one do you like the most and until next time you could catch me offshore